today I'm fighting a medieval knight. Imagine facing this on the battlefield. That's rock solid. My turn. No. <laughs> but first I have to defeat his three bodyguards. And I can only use traditional karate weapons. Whoa. Because it's time to find out who's best. East or West? Okay. Let's try the side sword. Oh, is that a side sword? A side sword. So I'm gonna go with the Kama. All right. Now these are flashy ones with fancy holes in them. Okay. But okay. I think they will work for sparring. I hope so. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. The fight has barely started and I'm already hurt. I have to use my footwork and close the gap quicker. My tactic worked perfectly, but now we both know each other's game plan. And just like that, I won my first fight against historical European fencing. Comment. Yeah, no, but like they work well for the legs, right? Because uh, yes. if I oh. see... Yeah. <laughs> so the idea is that you want to hook yeah. and kind of move it out of the way yeah. and then go for the lower limbs. Right. Yeah, so that's kind of the whole idea. Yeah, that makes sense. I want to get your hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because they're out there. And and you did get my hand in the beginning. Of yes. The... Exactly. Cool. cool. Next weapon. Next weapon. Let's do the double. Let's do the rapier and dagger. Can you just show me what those would look yes, like? Yes, that would be... Rapier and okay. the dagger. So I will also do two weapons. I will combine one tonfa, All right. which is great for defending with. Yeah. With the, <laughs> it's hard to grab with. Yeah, the glove. I'll, I'll get you the lighter gloves for this. Okay, so with the nunchuck. Now these are made of wood, but I also brought. Ah, I can't grab them. Okay, these one made out of foam. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll get you better gloves if you feel like you need it. Okay, cool. After a quick change of gloves, it's time for my second opponent. And she's much shorter than me, which means she might be faster. Luckily, my unorthodox combination of weapons works great. Suddenly, my tonfa gets stuck in my glove and I can't spin it anymore. So I have to rely on my single nunchuck to do the job. And I immediately paid the price. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think you slipped my wrist. <laughs> okay, next up. We do the buckler. No, we do not do the buckler. We can try the sword and buckler. I will actually use the bow. Ooh. The staff. Yeah. Which gives me a little bit of a reach advantage. Yeah. You definitely need that. I need that. Uh. All right, let's do it. <laughs> this might be my last chance and I'm not gonna waste it. I can hardly see my opponent's blade through the mask, but I'm confident in my staff skills. I am slaying it, so I decide to try a new tactic. But I quickly learned my lesson. That was on the wrist. Really nice. I read this staff was, felt really threatening when yeah? you did this thrusting attack. Right. Because it's difficult to parry with this area of the shield. Right. It's a, at a disadvantage, maybe in uh, at shorter ranges. Yeah. Because I can still sort of like go ahead. Yeah, and exactly. And yeah. Hit you everywhere. I have to kind of push you away. Yeah. yeah. But at, at this distance here, right. I was pretty scared of the staff. My visit to this historical European fencing club has been amazing. And now it's time for the grand finale. But first, I just launched an online course called the Kobudo Mastery that teaches you the Bo, Sai, Tonfa, Nunchaku, Kama, Tekko, Eku, Timbe, and Rochin. As a lifelong Kobudo practitioner, I've had the honor of learning, teaching, and training Kobudo all across the world, even competing in some prestigious tournaments, including the traditional World Kobudo Championships in Okinawa. And now I've put together this knowledge into easy to follow online video lessons. Visit kobudomastery.com to learn more.
or just click the link in the video description. The final boss. The final boss. What or who is this? Well, I'm not going to tell you his name, it's classified. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> when you have an armored person, the way you fight changes because you obviously need to be careful if you get hit in the head. Uh, it feels like this would do nothing. So you can hit harder. Yeah. It uh, doesn't make a big difference. It's just a waste of energy. Yeah, and even with this one. Wow. Yeah. I'm destroying my blade more. Exactly. So what would you say is your best piece of advice for me fighting somebody who looks like this? Run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run first. If you don't have like equal amounts of armor. And if you really have to, you need to be sure that they don't get to touch you on the way in and hope that you keep them busy long enough that those openings yeah. present themselves for you and okay. then you get like the opportunity to, to take them down. Right. I don't even know if I can wear these with the gloves. Uh, no. But <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'll just have to improvise. Yeah, we'll take... I'll just hold them like this. Uh, meanwhile, uh, he will be using this. Wait, he will be using that? Yeah, why not? This is very common. If you had this kind of suit, you would likely have one of these. It's definitely like the AK-47 of the, <laughs> the battlefield. Any last piece of advice for me? Uh, have fun. Oh, I will. <laughs> Trust me. All right, here we go. I am terrified. One blow and he will crush my skull. That's why I have to get close to use my Tekko, the Okinawan brass knuckles. <laughs> After almost getting taken down, my opponent throws his weapon away. But he doesn't know that I also know karate. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to take him down, because the bigger they are, the harder they fall. What is the conclusion of today's crazy experiment? Well, I actually would say I think long weapons are nice to have. Long weapons are really nice to have, <laughs> because they're safe, right? Yes, exactly. It keeps people away from you. Exactly. And it lets you do a bit of whatever you want until they get too close, of course. So you could say that the key, no matter what weapon you have, is to manage the distance. Yes, I would say it was nice to see the ability of like the way those weapons worked. Yeah. Like uh, and 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 also your ability to use uh, like all kinds of different ones mm -hmm. in that sense, like mixing and matching as you were going along. Yeah. There's like a nice level of improvisation. So so I really enjoyed seeing that. Yeah. We got some nice, very unorthodox matchups. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in all kinds of ways. So I think it led. I think all of us saw some new things that we really haven't seen before. And I also saw a lot of new things, <laughs> and I felt a lot of new things. So I think this was a win win yeah i absolutely yeah. agree now can we finish with a face reveal who is my secret opponent hello everyone <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day maybe it's not about east versus west but who can move the best because a weapon is simply an extension of the human body and in the right hands even the smallest tool can have the biggest impact now check out this video comparing Japanese and American weapons.